students, today's agenda is to check homework. We're going to be learning about the, or actually just review, reviewing recursive formulas, um, writing the sequences, and you're going to be able to do 7.2. And so today, students will be able to derive sequences from recursive formulas with one and two initial points. Okay, and so we'll begin with the first one. So if we have f of 1 equals 7, remember that that's my initial point, and f of n equals f of n minus 1 plus 3. So remember that this means look at the previous one, f of n minus 1 means look at the previous one and add 3. Okay? So I'm going to write my sequencing here. I know that f of 1 is 7 because they're giving it to me. And so, to find the second term, it's going to be f of 2, which is equals to f of 2 minus 1 plus 3. Now, I want to share that f of something doesn't mean a number, and you cannot do distributive property, okay? It just tells you, like, this is the machine to input something and get something else as a result. But I'll show you what that means. So f of 2 minus 1 means f of 1 plus 3. Now, this is where the part where I say this. This means not that it's number 1, but to look at the previous, at the one of where it says f of 1, so the number, the value of that. Okay, so the value of f of 1 is 7 plus 3, that's going to be equals to 10. So my f of 2, meaning the second term, so this is f of 1, now I'm finding f of 2 is 10. For f of 3, I'm going to write f of n minus 1, f of 3 minus 1, plus 3. Okay, I'm just replacing the 3 in here and in here. I'm replacing the n with 3 and 3. And so f of 3 minus 1 means 2 plus 3. And I already know that f of 2 is, its value is what? Again, this doesn't mean 2 plus 3 equals 5. No, it means look at f of 2, look at the value there, and add 3. So for the next one, I look at the previous one, right? I look at 10 and add 3. So that's 13. So f of 3 is 13. Now how do I find f of 4? Well, let me put another paper in here so that you can see it. So I can fit in here. Now let's do f of 4, meaning the next one. And you can see that you're adding 3, you're adding 3, you are adding 3. You can actually just go to the next one and start working since you already know the rule and the pattern. So f of 4 is f of n minus 1, meaning 4 minus 1 plus 3. And f of 4 minus 1 is f of 3 plus 3. Now remember, this doesn't mean 3 plus 3 equals 6. No, it means go to find the value of f of 3, which is 13, and replace it in here. Okay, f of 3 is equals to 13. So I put that value in here and add 3. So 13 plus 3 is equals to 16. Um, for some people, they can immediately see, oh, this is my initial point, I'm adding 3, so 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 3 is 16, plus 3 is going to be 19. So my f of 5 is equals to 19, my f of 6 is going to be equals to 22. So again, without doing all of this work, you can most definitely start with the initial point, 
and add three, since that's the pattern. Look at the previous one, that's what it means, f of n minus one, look at the last one, and add three. For this one, look at the last one, and add three. For f of seven, for example, he says, look at the last one, f of n minus one is seven minus one is f of six, Look at the previous one and add three. So 22 plus three is 25. Okay, so that's what it means in here. This is my initial point. This is what I do every single time to the next one, next one, next one. Okay, and you can definitely do the shortcut without having to do all this work. Okay, let's do another one. If I have f of one equals six, that's my initial point, and f of n equals two f of n minus one. It means look at the previous one, that's what this little expression means, look at the previous one, and now, since it's as a coefficient, it means multiply by two, okay? So again, if you wanna do the work, that's fine. I'm gonna show you the shortcut first and then the long way. So the initial point is six, to find the second term, f of two, f of two, I have to look at f of one and multiply by two, so six plus two times two is 12. For the third one, look at the previous one and multiply by two, that's 24. For the number four, look at the previous one and multiply by two, so that's 48. For the next one, Look at the previous one. This means look at the previous one and multiply by two, so 96. For this one, for f of six, look at f of five, which is 96, and multiply it by two, so that's 192. If you wanna do uh, with all the steps, that's fine. And so this is how you would do. We already have f of one. Let's pretend that you don't have this part, okay? We already have f of one, which is six. To find f of two, we are going to set f of two equals two multiplied by f of two minus one, two multiplied by f of two minus one is one. So it says, look at f of one, replace its value in here and multiply that by two. So that gives me 12. So f of two is 12. Do you see that is the same number? f of three, how do I find f of three? I know that I'm gonna multiply two times f of three minus one, meaning f of two, my, f of two right? So two multiplied by f of two, and again, f of two is right here, so replace that number in here, and multiply it by two. So, two times 12 is 24. Okay, so f of three is equal to 24. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. How do I find f of four? So, f of four is gonna be two or double f of four minus one, meaning f of three. You double that. And so when you double f of three, what is f of three? We go back to f of three and that's 24. And if you double f of three, which is 24, that's equals to 48. So you can see, again, you're doubling, you're doubling, double, so double, double. Um, you can definitely do the work, or you can just write the initial point, write the initial point, they give it to me, and multiply that by two, multiply 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 by two. Okay, because that's what they're telling me here. Multiply by two. Okay, let's do one more. Mm, 
And we're gonna go a little faster without the process. We're just gonna go directly to But this one is a little tricky. When we have negative as a coefficient, it means that you're multiplying by negative one, okay? That's what it means. And so, the initial point is five. The pattern, they're telling me here, multiply by negative one, so times negative one. And so, in here you have to be careful because you have to multiply the signs and also the numbers. So positive times negative, that's negative. Five times one is five. So basically, positive five times, positive five times negative one equals negative five. Then, you do the same thing, times negative one. So negative times negative, positive. 5 times 1, 5. Again, you do the same thing. You're going to multiply by negative 1 because that's what my pattern is telling me. So positive times negative, negative. 5 times 1, 5. Multiply by negative 1 again. Negative times negative, positive. 5 times 1, 5. Now, one little thing is that I'm putting a plus in here, but in reality, you, you don't need to put it. Or you can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Okay? Let's do one more. Okay, now number four is f of one. Remember that if I'm going a little too fast, you can most definitely stop the video, rewind it. Okay, what's going on in here? Well, now you have two steps. You have the initial point, but then now you have to apply two different rules. And in here, I'm multiplying by two, and I'm adding three. So I grab that, multiply by two, and the result, I add three to that, okay? Um, why am I multiplying first and adding later? It's because I have to follow PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, so multiplication comes first, okay? So I'm gonna start with my initial point, which is five. That five, I'm going to multiply by two and then add three. So five times two, 10, plus three, 13. For the next one, 13 times two, 26 plus 3, 29. For the next one, again, I'm going to multiply this one by 2 and then add 3. So 29 times 2, 58 plus 3, 61. For the next one, 61 times 2, 122 plus 3, 125. For the next one, 125 times 2, 250 plus 3, 253, okay, and so on. Okay, let's do one more. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to write one with two points, two initial points. <coughs> so I have f of 1 equals 2, f of 2 equals 3, and then I have f of n equals 3 multiplied by f of n minus 2. So if you remember in the, pre in the previous one it says n minus 1, it just means that you're going back one space. But in here it says n minus 2, so you're going back 1, 2. Okay? So my two first initial points, meaning the first term is a 2, the second term is a, a 3. So for the third one, you're going to go back two spaces. So 1, 2. And I grab that one. And what do I do with this? 
multiply by 3. So 2 times 3, 6. Now for term number 4, I'm going to go back two spaces, so 1, 2. I grab that number, and what do I do to it? Multiply by 3, so 3 times 3, 9. For the next term, I'm going to go back one, two spaces. So I grab this one, and what do I do to it? Multiply by 3, so 6 times 3, 18. For the next one, what do I do? I go back one, two spaces, and what do I do with that? Multiply it by 3, so 3 times 9, 27. So it's going to be similar to the previous one. Go to the previous one and do something, but in here it just says go back two spaces and then apply the rule, and that's the result. Okay, see how it's going back two spaces for all of them? So I hope those zeros help you, okay, to figure out. That's because it says n minus 2. It means go back not to the previous month, but to two months ago. And when would you do something like this? Oh, maybe when you're doing accounting, maybe you, you don't have the results of the previous month soon enough. So you have to look at maybe data analysis from two months ago to kind of figure out what's going to be happening. Okay? So again, just go back two spaces. Every time it says n minus 2, go back two spaces. And this is number 6. Let's do number 7. Again, f of 1 is equals to 3. f of 2 is equals to 4. And f of n is equals to f of n minus 2 minus 1. Again, my first two terms are 3, 4, and to find the third one, I'm going to go back two spaces and subtract 1. This is my pattern. Okay, so 3 minus 1 equals 2. For the next one, I'm going to go back two spaces, grab that number, and apply the pattern, minus 1. So 4 minus 1 equals 3. For the next one, I'm going to go back one, two spaces. And so I grab the number, minus 1 is 1. And again, I go back two spaces, right? It says to go back, minus 2, it means go back two spaces. Grab the number, apply the rule, so 3 minus 1 equals 2, and so on, okay? Um, so this is it. I hope this video helps you and now you're able to do lesson 7.2.